Hey, Cody here with AM Solar. Want to talk to you today about our new MultiPlus 2 kits. Uh, they come with the newest uh, Victron MultiPlus 2 inverter system and all the AC DC connections necessary uh, to complete your system. Uh, reasons why you may want this kit if you have a 50 amp input configuration on your RV, uh, chances are you would like the most versatility of use from that system. Uh, what that means to us is that if you're uh, boondocking and you want to turn your inverter on, uh, it'd be nice if your inverter was capable of powering uh, either leg one of your coach or leg two or both simultaneously. Um, obviously, 3,000 volt amps continuous uh, operation is about 2,400 watts. So that's about 20 amps of AC output. Um, but it's nice to be able to distribute that 20 amps to one leg or the other or both at the same time. Um, another great feature about this inverter system is that it does have uh, load assist which is the inverter's capability of supplementing your AC input if it's underrated for your load use. Uh, for example, if you frequently plug into 30 amps or less, uh, the inverter does have the ability to recognize that you're plugged into that AC input configuration and it will supplement um, a maximum of 20 amps uh, it matches a one-to-one, -one. so if you're on 15 amps input, it'll match 15 amps on load assisting. If you're on 20, it'll match 20. Um, if you're on 50, you're not going to be load assisting. Uh, so it's really only if you're plugging into less than 50 amps AC input configuration. The inverter uh, will then load assist and supplement your power by pulling power out of your batteries. Um, that's a really nice feature of Victron's MultiPlus inverters, but this particular inverter has another feature built into it. Um, some of you may already know that the AM Solar Smart Phase Selector has been out for a while. It's been providing our customers the ability to do the same thing with the MultiPlus 123000 VA, and then Victron came out with an all-in-one unit. So that's what the MultiPlus 2 is. It's, it's got the capability of doing full AC input and output pass-through capability on a 50 amp coach. Uh, that makes it easier for uh, anybody installing this as you only have one unit to install versus two separate units. Um, in some applications that might not be ideal for space because this inverter is pretty big. Uh, it may be better to go with the smart phase selector from AM Solar mixed with the 123000 VA um, MultiPlus, or maybe it's ideal to go with this kit. Um, if you open this inverter up, you will see that there is uh, some pretty easy, straightforward connections to make. You've got your DC side over here, uh, and our kit comes with all the DC cable and connections and fuses and switches that you need. And then you've got your AC input and output configuration over here. What's really nice about this inverter system is that they've made it easy to access. You no longer have to remove the entire faceplate and expose the vulnerable electronics inside. You just have to remove the bottom. Uh, it's got two screws, two re retaining screws, and it makes it really easy just to slide this out, route your cables in, and make your connections. And then they've got strain reliefs for COM cables or AC input, uh, which also makes it really nice not to have to add an additional strain relief to the inverter or on the outside to protect your cable from getting pulled around. Um, once you have this system completely wired up, uh, you may have this monitored through a digital multi-control, which would be the basic monitoring system. You may have it monitored through more of a central monitoring system like the color control or the GX uh, Serbo and Touch 50 combo. Our new kit that we're offering uh, it comes with the MultiPlus 2 from Victron and a whole lot of other goodies. Uh, if you order one of these kits, you're going to get three boxes of these sizes and we're going to unpack these and show you what's in the box and why you need it. All right, looking forward to it. All right, so in the big box is going to be the new MultiPlus 2 from Victron. Um, we like to protect it very well, so we have custom-sized boxes and we pack it in really well. 
so there's no damage in shipping. Um, also, we pre-program these per the battery type that you request. So it takes out the challenges and the difficulty of you having to program and update the firmware and so forth. Um, so that's the main MP2 uh, system. And then all the goodies to connect it into your RV come in the other boxes. Uh, one of the boxes is going to have nothing but cable. Um, this is not a representation of the actual quantity of cable that comes in the kit. You're actually going to get 12 feet of uh, 4 aught to provide your, your 12 volt side of the inverter connections. And you're also going to get 40 feet of 6-4 AC wire to connect all your AC input and output connections. Um, you can have either one of those customized to fit your needs uh, in some applications. You might actually need more than 40. Uh, we just did an installation, it took about 60 feet. And there's other applications where you might get away with just 20 or 30. Uh, it really depends on where you're putting your inverter and where your connections need to be made and how long your wire runs are. Um, so if you wanna customize those lengths, you can talk with one of our sales associates to do so. Uh, but the kit comes with 40 feet of 6.4, 12 feet of 4 odd, and then if you get the kit that comes with the uh, Servo uh, Touch 50, that's going to be packed inside of here, and we've got the Touch 50 monitor and the Servo. If you get the kit that comes with the color control, those two items are going to be out of the mix, and you will get the color control kit instead. Uh, everything else is the same. You've got a main DC on off switch. Uh, that's going to be in line with your class T fuse and holder, which is 400 amp rated. And you're also going to get all the lugs and heat shrink necessary to complete your DC connections. And all the communication cables necessary to connect your MultiPlus to the Touch 50 or the color control or to connect your battery monitor system or your solar charge controller if you have Victron, uh, MPPT or a BMV and that's what these are for for monitoring communication. Um, a couple of things that will also come with the kit are a big baby DIN mount box this is something you may find you'll need on the input side of the inverter connection or on the output side, or in some applications you may not need it at all. The main purpose of this box is to make it easier for you to tie your MultiPlus 2 into your AC input or output system. Uh, and depending on your application, that junction may take place uh, after the factory transfer switch, before the inverter input, um, or it may be easier to go between the inverter output and your AC load center. Um, this is a demonstration box here to show you what that junction is going to look like. And what comes in this kit is the big baby DIN mount box and cover. Uh, and you also get these colorful DIN mount rail termination blocks. Uh, one of them is going to be a stopper to keep the DIN mount terminal blocks from sliding out of place. The others are for your junction of your line one, uh, neutral, line two, and ground. Uh, that will allow you to take your factory wiring, terminate it in one side, and then put your new 6-4 wiring on the other side and route that to the inverter. Um, that could be on the input side, that could be on the output side, or like I said, in some applications, you may not need this at all. Um, it really depends on your particular installation challenges. Uh, one thing to note about installing these, they do have exposed sides that you want to uh, prevent from meeting each other. So you don't want the exposed side of one of your AC connections to face the exposed side of another AC connection. Uh, so the orientation in the box is very specific. You want the ground facing outward. You can tell that the protected sides on the outside, the unprotected sides on the inside. You take your line 
one or two, and you put its protected side up against the unprotected side, and you keep stacking them in there in the same orientation. Here's your neutral, same orientation. Here's your line one or two, uh, same orientation. You'll notice there's an exposed edge there, but that's what this stopper will protect. And then once these are all slid into your DIN rail, you tighten down this block, which will stop these from moving any further. And once that's all in place and you have your AC input wired up and your DC, uh, you are ready to have a full pass through 50 amp system. If you have further questions or you would like to make a purchase of one of these kits, feel free to contact us or go online and we will walk you through how to get it. Thanks for watching. What's in the box? What's in the box, man?